Chapter 5. Well Testing Layout. Typical Surface Well Testing Layout. The well testing layout is a representation of the individual pieces of equipment put together for the purpose of producing the well at the surface. On this picture, you can identify the name and the position of the different pieces of surface equipment that compose the surface well testing setup. The layout diagram. The layout diagram defines which pieces of surface testing equipment have to be used. Identifies where the equipment is located according to zones and recommended distances. It illustrates the sequence in which the equipment is connected. And shows the general piping with vent lines layout, emergency shutdown, and airlines. The layout diagram varies according to location, land or offshore operation, and well conditions such as sand production, flow rate and pressure. Presence of corrosive fluids, H2S, CO2, and acid. Effluent properties, oil properties and hydrate formation. Onshore layout diagram. In an onshore layout diagram, the oil and gas pits, both must be located about 300 feet from wellhead and testing area, and also be separated from 300 feet. The oil burners used are two. Both must be located about 150 feet from wellhead and testing area, and also opposites. The vertical gas flare used, generally one, and must be located about 300 feet from wellhead and testing area. Nowadays, burners are more frequently used than burning pits on land, for both safety and environmental reasons. Lines to oil and gas pits, burners, or flare, must be secured, and or, anchored to the ground to prevent whipping. Generally tubings are used for flare lines and vent lines. Crossovers are needed between tubings and well test piping. Offshore layout diagram Some offshore rigs have permanent piping, rigs property, to facilitate the connection between the different pieces of equipment. Generally, they are available between the rig floor and the surface well testing area, and between the surface well testing area and the booms area. Permanent piping may be used if it complies with the industry pressure safety precaution. Layout general rules. Placing the choke manifold on the rig floor, it limits the length of high pressure piping. Reduces the pressure drop between flow head and choke manifold. Gives more accurate wellhead pressure and wellhead temperature. The piping between flowhead and choke manifold is called flow line. The flow line must be flexible on all floater rigs, and it is recommended on all other fixed rigs. Offshore, two burners mounted on booms, one on each side of the rig. One burner or the other is used, depending on the wind direction. Burners require compressed air to properly burn the oil, and propane is necessary to supply the pilot lights for the burners. A water pump is used to inject water into the oil flame at the burner, old generation, and to create a water screen behind the burners, which reduces heat radiation. Whenever H2S presence is expected, gas shall be vented to flare. Correct piping size prevents Very high fluid velocities Large pressure losses Overpressurization of the equipment. In some tests, the effluent may be injected into a pipeline or production line. Thank you for your attention. This is the end of today's presentation. In the next video presentation, Chapter 6, you will learn about well testing safety. Please hit like and subscribe to our channel in order to help us produce more content like this one.